What's a two and a half way speaker? I agree, that's an interesting term. And this comes from Jose in Argentina. I love that people are all over the world enjoying these videos. And whether you're a PS Audio customer or not, doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just here we are enjoying each other's company, talking and, and learning about stereo stuff. How cool is that? Okay, so Jose writes, I understand perfectly how a two-way or a three-way speaker works, but I don't know how the frequencies are divided between the different drivers in the case of a two and a half way speaker design. The crossover network is a two way, but how does it work and how do you assign only bass frequencies to the half way speaker? I, well, this is, this is somewhat of a marketing um, term, if you will because the practice, what, so, all right, let me, let me explain what, what generally people, uh, manufacturers mean when they talk about a two and a half way speaker is they will have a couple of woofers in addition to a tweeter. So imagine a two way speaker where you have a tweeter and a six and a half inch woofer. That's a classic two-way. And in a classic two-way, we have a, generally you have a high-pass filter on the woofer, which cuts off how low that, uh, that woofer can go. You can let the cabin, cabinet roll it off, but generally on, on better speakers, they'll, they'll have a high-pass filter. And then they'll have a low-pass filter, which determines how high the woofer goes. And then you'll have a high-pass filter on the tweeter, and then the tweeter goes out as high as it can. So let's just take the simplest thing. Let's just say we have a low pass filter on the woofer so it can't go too high, and then a high pass filter, which is generally just a capacitor, on the tweeter to make sure that it doesn't go too low. Okay, that's a traditional, classic two-way loudspeaker. Now we want to have a two and a half way loudspeaker. So what they do is they take another six and a half inch driver. It doesn't have to be a six and a half, okay? Just to be clear, I'm just giving you an explanation of how this works. So add another one, all right? And there's a couple of ways that they can do this, but generally the ones that I've seen have um, uh, both woofers working at the lower frequency, so you get good bass, and as, as the frequency goes up, they have different low pass filters. So one will go from say whatever the low part of the speaker, or both will go from the low part of the speaker up to a certain point. Let's call it uh, 400 hertz. And at 400 hertz, the first woofer, usually the one on the bottom, will have a low pass filter on it and it'll start rolling off. And the other one keeps going. And that one then rolls off say at two kilohertz where it meets the tweeter where normally just the one would have rolled off at two kilohertz. Another way I've seen is the, the uh, they use it more like a mid-range where the, the one speaker has all the bass and then the other one kind of takes over with a high pass and a low pass filter. But I guess the question would be what differentiates that from just a simple mid-range driver? Well, simple mid-range drivers usually uh, as are when you're dividing the speaker up into three parts. So you have a tweeter, a mid-range, and a, and a woofer. Now to do that in that classic configuration, then your mid-range for sure has a high pass and a low pass filter. So the one takes over from the woofer, the other uh, hands off to the tweeter. But in this case, at least the ones that I've seen, you have two woofers working the same and then one cuts off while the other takes off and does it. And it gives you a bit of a smoother transition. There's also a thing called a baffle step response because uh, if, uh, well, I'm not gonna get in, into that. But th those are generally the reasons um, that that's done. A and another uh, thing that uh, I will bring up is we used to do this at Genesis when we had three tweeters uh, at Genesis. We had a couple of models that had three tweeters in a row and there all three tweeters went down as low as they went. What, I don't know, whatever it was, two kilohertz. And then as the frequency went from two kilohertz on up at about, 
oh, seven, seven, eight kilohertz, the top and the bottom of the three tweeters started rolling off. And then only the top speaker, uh, the middle tweeter, stayed on. So that by the time you got up to 20 kilohertz or 10, 12 kilohertz, you only had the one tweeter. So it was a progressive crossover, which is kind of the same thing that they're doing in a two and a half way speaker. They just came up with a clever marketing term to make you think that it is very special. Thanks for watching. Talk to you tomorrow.